Mamadou Diallo faced manslaughter charges for killing his wife's attacker. The confrontation caught on camera. Diallo beating the man with a tire iron after getting a call from his frantic wife. But today, prosecutors dropped the charges in part because of the family of the man he killed. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live in Morrisania in the Bronx with the story. Ali. Well, Zaina, two families have been devastated by what happened in this apartment building back in May. But now family of the man that Mamadou Diallo beat to death says they have all suffered enough. And now it's time to recover. Walking home from his prayers, a free man today. 61-year-old Mamadou Diallo asked for peace for himself and peace for the man he killed. Drinking God, I tell everybody to give peace for me and who died to give peace. In this surveillance video from May 30th, you see Diallo beating 43-year-old Earl Nash with a tire iron in Diallo's apartment building on Washington Avenue. Nenegale Diallo had called her husband to say she was being attacked and nearly raped. An autopsy report shows Nash later died from cardiorespiratory complications from his injuries, cocaine intoxication, and heart disease. My religion is not allowed to kill somebody. I know when I kill. A written statement from the Nash family today says while we cannot undo the damage that was done that evening, we hope to bring some closure not only to our family, but to the Diallo family as well. As such, we wholeheartedly recommend that District Attorney Clark dismiss all charges against Mamadou Diallo. I'm feel all right. I'm feel okay about the justice, American justice, because they do right. Here. After months out of work and in and out of the courts, today Mamadou and Nenegale are grateful for the chance to return to normalcy. Thank you. Thank are you, you so hug much. Your wife? When your husband got problem, you got problem, right? Charges against Diallo had been reduced from manslaughter to assault and criminal possession of a weapon, but the DA's office said today's decision came from the autopsy report and statements from the Nash family. We're live in the Morrisania section of the Bronx. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.